Hey what is going on everybody welcome to the 14th selenium web driver tutorial again my name is abhilash and in the previous tutorial we have seen how we can uh, open a web page url in a web browser so we have also seen that how we can set the property and uh, set the path of the gecko driver.exe that is located in our local directory also we have seen how we can uh, declare and initialize the web driver variable that is uh, driver and how we can use the driver object to open the web page url so in today's tutorial we will be looking into some more methods uh, as far as uh, web browser dimensions is concerned so basically we are going to set the dimensions or the size of the web browser that uh, we are going to automate so basically uh, before uh, we get started uh, with the dimensions of the web browser uh, we have another way of uh, initializing this uh, driver that is uh, combining the declaration of uh, the web driver object and uh, the assignment so basically uh, the other way of uh, using these two commands is to combine both of them in one line so basically let's comment this out so in java we have uh, something called as comments uh, uh, which will ensure that these uh, commands are not executed during the execution of the java program so basically whichever statements that we do not we don't need to execute or we don't want them to get executed so we can just comment the statements that are not required so basically uh, we can type as web driver and uh, for the auto suggestions we can always uh, press the combination of control and space keys on keyboard so basically the very first auto suggestion is uh, web driver interface and then giving it uh, uh, the name as driver equals new firefox driver So as you can see I have uh, combined both these statements into one statement so basically even uh, this statement will work as far as uh, opening a web browser is concerned that is uh, for Firefox driver it will open the Mozilla Firefox browser. So in this tutorial we will be looking into the dimensions of uh, web browser so we have a class named as uh, dimension if you press control and space you can see we have two dimensions so we will be focusing on uh, the second class that uh, belongs to the selenium so basically this is the class that we are going to use and let's name it as dimension equals again new dimension that is we are declaring this uh, object that is dimension using the new keyword so again we are going to use the same class and it takes two parameters while uh, instantiating this object that is the width and height so let's say we set the width as uh, 600 by 500 the height so as you can see we have uh, set the dimension uh, as uh, width as 600 and uh, height as 500 now in order to set this in the driver object we have uh, a method uh, we have to use a series of methods in this case so we have driver dot uh, manage since we are dealing with the web browser in this case so manage dot windows window dot uh, as you can see we have something called a set size which takes the dimension that we have already declared so basically uh, we set the size and uh, pass the variable or uh, the object that we have defined using the dimension class so it's dimension as you can see we have named the object as dimension and then end the statement using a semicolon so basically uh, this series of statements or you can say this series of uh, methods that we have used will uh, allow us to set the size of the web browser that uh, we are going to open using this particular statement that is firefox driver so basically uh, driver.manage.window.setSize 
so remember this uh, sequence of uh, methods that we are using over here and it will uh, set the dimension of the web browser so if we save this and execute the test case you can see uh, the Mozilla uh, browser is uh, resized to the uh, required width and height that we had set that is uh, 600 by 500 so as you can see this is the required dimensions again uh, what we can do is uh, instead of uh, setting these dimensions another method that we can use is we can always maximize this particular browser that we have okay so basically uh, the simple method uh, to maximize uh, the uh, web browser window is again using the same series of uh, methods that is uh, driver dot manage dot window dot as you can see we have uh, a method called as maximize so instead of set size instead of setting size to a particular dimension that contains a uh, width and height we can maximize the web browser and it will take the uh, it will go in a maximized mode so if we uh, save this uh, script and execute okay so what will happen is it will set the size and since uh, our web page is in local directory it will quickly uh, load the URL in the web browser and again it will quickly uh, execute this uh, particular statement and maximize the web browser so this particular step won't be visible uh, in this case while execution so uh, let's execute in the end we will get a web browser which will be in a maximized mode so as you can see for a millisecond it was uh, set to that particular dimension that we had set that is 600 by 500 and then quickly the URL was loaded and again it went to the maximized mode so basically in this way we can either uh, set our web browser to a particular dimension or uh, we can uh, set it to the maximized mode as we have seen with using this particular series of uh, methods using the driver object so that's it in this tutorial we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one